Hello, my name is Drew, and again, we are Gulelis today. They are still in Italy, and you still have me to look at this morning. So, welcome to Right Now. I have the rest of my customer care team with me this morning, and we're going to talk about some more pens, and I would still like to hear what you're writing with today. So, let us know, and we're going to let you know. We're going to start with my buddy Adrian here. Hey, guys. Uh, so today I'm actually writing with my Goulet 90 day pen, which was the Brass Traveler's Pen. And I love it. I actually have it inked up with Lamy Red. Lamy Red? I, I don't like black ink. So I emptied the cartridge and refilled the cartridge with Lamy Red because I'd heard that it has some interesting shading properties. Really? Yeah, and it does. It kind of shades pink to red a little bit. I just never even think about Lamy Red, to be it, honest. It, well, it, it was never on my radar, but I pick it up, it writes perfectly, it's great for these note cards because, you know, they're a little bit more absorbent, so you mm -hmm. can, um, you don't have to worry about something that's going to take a really long time to dry. Huh. So I've, I've been enjoying it. And, you know, we're getting into kind of the fall, so the reds and oranges are yes, indeed. good to go. So that's what I'm writing with today. And you got that pen kind of on the recommendation of one Brian Charles Goulet, correct? Yes, yes. I struggled with my 90-day decision. I don't know if you if you know that or not. <laughs> About every day yeah. I was asking, what was your 90-day pen? What was your 90-day pen? Uh, and somebody threw out the Traveler's Brass Pen. Brian was walking by and said, hey, Brian, what do you think about the, the brass pen? And he's like, oh, it's amazing. It writes every time. And I was like, well, Brian says it's amazing. So that's a good point. That's a lot of to fun, too. Yeah. Yeah, he was talking about how he'll carry it in his pocket and maybe even um, like have it in his pocket when he's doing yard work. And he said, yeah, even after I mow the lawn, it's still writing. So I'm just waiting for the pen to mow the lawn for me. And Brian, <laughs> Brian's lawn is no joke either. It's oh. like preparing for battle. Yes, oh, no kidding. Um, so uh, I switched to a Namiki today. And this is a Namiki herringbone. And I think this one was from the 90s. But... The uh, I, I like the look of the pen, but really the way it writes, like it's a medium Japanese nib, and it is probably the smoothest writing nib I have. Nice. I've really? got it, yes, I've got it inked up with Noodlers, <laughs> Navajo Turquoise, mm, and it cool. is just a joy to write with, plain and simple. And you that know, Navajo Turquoise is gorgeous. Oh gosh, really I love it so much. Yeah. And even you know, we write the names of the ink on the notes, and even though I have to write Noodlers, Navajo Turquoise, like it's <laughs> it's a mouthful. I, yeah, it is absolutely yeah, yeah. worth it. I don't even so care good. because it is fantastic yeah. and smooth as silk or butter or buttery silk. Or like butter wrapped in silk. Or... Anyway, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It is good. Mm, no, I'm hungry. What you got? I have the Twisby Go. So Twisby Go, it's kind of a newer thing. Yeah. Um, I love Twisby pens. Um, as you know, my, my first pen, I believe, here at the company was the Back 700, so... And Jeremy's been with us for a little while. Yes, I, and I wore it out, trust me. You, you do not understand what he means by wore it out. How, how, many, how many things had scotch tape on it? <laughs> you know, be DIY, honest, be DIY, honest. DIY, right? Is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a difference between DIY and just broke. <laughs> anyway, it was well-loved. Um, I loved my Twisby Back. 700, but um, now I've got the go of the stub nib, and I love it. Um, and I have it inked up with Apache Sunset, which yeah. is that's Maybe. Jeremy's go-to. Yeah. He's, he's got a uh, he's like a jug yeah. of this stuff on his desk. I, yeah. I love it. He's been obsessed with Apache Sunset yeah. since he started, yeah. and you know, and uh, yeah, he's been uh, a big proponent of Twisby too. And again, yeah, I absolutely. need to own a Twisby, and I, mean, yes, I still can't really believe I don't own a Twisby. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and Cindy, I see something familiar in your hand as well. Yes. This is my Twisby Go uh, with a 1.1 stub nib in sapphire, mm. and it is one of it is probably the most comfortable pen I've ever written with. Yes, very How about good. That? You agree. know, I write a lot of cars, sign a lot of cars, mm -hmm. and it just you know it doesn't hurt my finger. It's just I love it. And then I have diamond magenta flash in there. Ooh, yeah. Is and that a uh, shimmer? Sh yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, shimmers. And in the stub, that shimmer really shows yes, off, doesn't it? Does. it? Like yeah, you it does, get a really yeah. nice. It's real pretty. And how often do you have to clean that thing because of the shimmer? Like you know, do you is it do you shake it and roll it and then that's sufficient, or do you have to do I a weekly cleaning? I had to clean it one time. One cl it, one time. Just once. No yeah. clogging. Oh, no. Just clogged once. Wow. Yeah. And you ride with this and every I, day. Yes. That's yes, fantastic. Every day, and I do you know this thing. Yeah. This thing. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I would recommend that over the 
shaking. <laughs> like, yeah, just, just all you do is just need to move work. those particles around. <laughs> yeah. you, you'll be fine. And if you guys don't know this already, uh, Jeremy and Cindy are our processing team here at the Goulet Pen Company. So all of your orders get printed, charged, all the, you know, anything that has to do with your active order at the Goulet Pen Company goes through these guys. And if, uh, heaven forbid, there's ever an issue with it, it's also <laughs> up to these folks. So uh, they're problem yeah. solvers and uh, order handlers. So they take care of you. And uh, they, you might not uh, see them a whole lot, but they're the unsung heroes of the Goulet Pen Company for sure. So yesterday, um, we were talking about uh, Twisbees, and I realized that I did not have one, and you just acquired one yesterday. I did, Because yeah. we had our first in-office pen swap yesterday. Awesome. It was a lot of fun. We, everybody, you just kind of brought your collections, and you just looked at everybody else's stuff, and be like, oh, so I want that. What of this can, well, how can we make this happen? So, yep, yep. Um, you walked away with a couple pens, didn't I did, you? and I, I got this one. I was very, very excited to get this Lamy All-Star. It's the charged green. Uh, you know, I have a thing for green. I so did not know that. When uh, Lydia, our <laughs> wonderful Left Out Lydia, uh, Left Out series, was like, oh, you have that purple one? I'll trade you that. I was like, yes, done. Because I've had my eye on this for a while, and, and of course, nobody. You got rid of your purple one? I got rid of the, the purple Placier, yeah. Oh, the so Placier. Was, okay, so I thought you were talking about All Star. Oh, no, no. Because I have one of those, and I love it. Yeah, so, um, and. I really like doing kind of shocking combinations. So this actually bright green. I didn't want a bright green ink. I went with Robert Oster Cherry Blossom, which is a very soft. Oh, interesting. Ink. That is an interesting yeah. combination. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you know, I like it though. That's my cool. eco has my my pink eco mm -hmm. has cheek green in it. So this was kind of the opposite. Ooh. Pink pen, green ink, green pen, pink ink. I think that's going to be my thing. Oh, do you guys have to match ink, or do you just whatever? Apache Sunset. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no matching things. <laughs> it goes with everything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so Adrian and I are, we like to acquire pens. Very uh, much. Jeremy and Cindy, you know, you guys more or less, I got my yeah. thing. I have and a few, like, staples. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's super cool because, yeah. you know, we're not like all fountain pen fiends in this building. We all use them, <laughs> we all appreciate them, we all like them, but just like our customers, we use them in different yeah. ways and have different applications for them. Yeah. So, you know, I like to switch them all very, very fast. I honestly don't use a lot of uh, piston pens because they have too high of an ink capacity. And I'm like, no, I need a different ink. <laughs> I need to clean this out and use a different pen. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. a lot of folks are just not like that. They don't need variety mm -hmm. to keep them interested in the way they write. Those what people are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> They're also Set not well. addicts. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't need to justify our problem. That's okay. Yeah. Um, what, are you, what is your favorite thing about kind of having your pen, like your one pen? Like what about that? Just Is it the familiar, familiarity or? I think it's the way it feels in my hand. So you just, I mean, you find just, what's it perfect just, and then you. Right. It just, it just lays on my finger so well and it's, it's, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those things are pretty light too, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And I like not having to fill it up all the time. Right. Like, you know, uh, converter. Mm -hmm. You know, it holds a lot of ink. Mm -hmm. so. But going from a VAC 700 to that, that's like the VAC 700 weighs like 100 pounds. It, yeah, th there's <laughs> definitely a, a difference in, in weight. But this thing holds a ton of ink. Yeah. And that's what I yeah. really, really love about it. Um, I don't have to keep filling it up. And so it's just, for me, it's a convenience type thing. Yes. But. Was yeah, your back 700 that. a stub also? It was a stub. Okay. Love. I'm a stub guy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm with Susan. I'm, I'm in the stub camp. So. Yes. Yeah. I really <laughs> wish we could show everybody what that back 700 looked yeah. like. It was a you sight. Throw it, away. it was a sight. Yeah. And, and it was time. Yeah. It was. I time. had a hard time letting go, but I finally did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. It was. It was suffering. It yeah. needed to be. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Retired. <laughs> you're <being put> out. <laughs> Retired. Uh, thank you so much yeah. for joining us again. I think next week we're going to be back to our regular scheduled uh, yeah. individuals. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let us know how you're writing, what you're writing with, and whether or not you enjoyed this or not. Either way, have a fantastic day. I enjoyed it. Right on.